If you have an old trailer like we do, then you probably have experienced something similar to my problem. My problem was is that we would go out camping and we prefer to camp in a dry camping situation, meaning we don't have electrical hookups. So all that we have is the batteries that I have on the tongue of the trailer. I have 200 amp hours of those. But the problem was is that we were running out of power. A couple of hours into the evening, we'd run the lights to play games or something like that and we'd run out of power so we didn't have enough power to run the furnace or the water pump all those essential things that you really need so we found ourselves having to use camping lanterns to light the inside of the trailer because we just didn't have enough battery something was stealing the power the problem and the solution stay tuned <laughs> Hi, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and our YouTube channel is about all things camping. Whether you're a tent camper or an RV camper, our goal is to help you have a better camping experience. And in today, if you've got a trailer, an old trailer like I do, and you're running out of power, the culprit may be this. Now what this is, an incandescent bulb, this was stealing all the power. And how did I know that? Well, you know that battery monitor that you have where you push the button and one of four LEDs lights up? That really doesn't tell you anything. What you need to do is know when and how much power's being drawn. So what I did is I went and purchased the cheapest battery monitor I could find on Amazon. This is a Bayite, I believe that's the way you say it, but there's a dozen different clones of this. What it does is it not only tells you the state of charge of your battery, or meaning how much you have in there, but it also tells you how much power is being put into the battery, or more importantly, how much power is being drawn off. And what we did is I bought one of these, hooked it up to the battery, and then we went through the different systems of the trailer. And what we found is it was the lights. The lights were stealing all of my power. And it was these little tiny bulbs that were taking all of that. But I have over 30 of these little bulbs in the trailer. If you do the math, you'll soon figure out why after only a couple of hours of running the lights in the trailer that I was running out of power to do the other things like a water pump or control the furnace or the fridge or any of that stuff. And worse, like bringing the slide in at the end of the trip. Now I needed to find a way to do that and as we hunted I used this to narrow it down it was the lights and the solution is this an LED light this LED light uses about 1.2 watts per bulb which is a huge difference so let me tell you about how what we found out when we hooked up the battery monitor so what we did is an experiment before we changed anything what happened is that we hooked, turned all of the lights on in, in the trailer, all of the incandescent bulbs, and we were running 429.3 watts coming out, it was being drawn off to run just the lights. That's 34.3 amps. Now, once we changed the, all the bulbs to these LED bulbs, then what happened was we ran all the lights, no other system, just lights, and we dropped that down to 104.5 watts of power being drawn off for the lights. That's 8.2 amps. Now what we did that's even much more dramatic is we just turned on only the lights that we would need if we were playing games or doing something in the living area. These would be lights that we'd have on during the evening to do what we needed to do. And you know what? We came in at 24.5 watts to light the entire living area and that's only 1.9 amps of draw. That's amazing. So it was the lights that were stealing it. The solution is this LED light. You can purchase these. There's a, a bunch of different places that you can get them on Amazon. That's where I got mine. So it took Holly and I, oh, about 15 minutes to go through the entire trailer and switch out all of these bulbs. And it's just this little connection right here, this little flat one. So take a look at your trailer. Take a look at these little things. If you've got incandescent bulbs that have this flat 
connection, you really could make a huge difference going from hundreds of watts just to light your living area down to just 24 watts. After we did this, we had the lights on all night long. We had my daughter and son-in-law there and we were able to play games until well into the middle of the night. Woke up in the morning and I hit that little thing, you know, that button with the four LEDs. After an entire night, I was so excited because I hit that button and everything we had used that night still showed the batteries as being full. That was awesome. Now, I've solved the problem. I can go dry camping. I can go camping anywhere I want. And just normal living, lighting the trailer, doing what I'd like it to do, is not drawing down the power. And that's not what's restricting me from having a great adventure. So if you got any value out of the video today, give me a big thumbs up. And you know what? We do a lot of videos like this all about camping. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. But until then, I'll see you on the next adventure.